Hello again, it's Alan. I'm going to show how to make a glazed section for the end of a station canopy and can be adapted to any size that you want. The width of the arch is 268 millimeters and 83 millimeters high. And the first thing we do is to select, draw line, make sure the snapping tool is turned on and draw a line along the bottom of the box. Next, we're going to draw the arch. So press on select, then on the icon below, which is edit paths by node, then move to the second ribbon down and select make selected node smooth. Now the snapping tool must be on in this top right. If we now go to this line, click on, we should be able to find the center by just moving it until you see handle to line midpoint, click on, move up, and it will snap into place. We now select everything and object group. Then we object duplicate and pull away the duplicate. And what we're going to do is we're going to reduce that to 260 by 80 millimeters to form the next part of the arch. So if we select on the box, go to the top, change that to 260 by 80. The arch will have been reduced in size. If we now click on the box and object on group, we should be able to now pick up the arch on its own and drag it down to the previous arch. We can now position it. Again, with the snapping tool on, we will select line, click on the bottom left second arch and it will click there and lock to there and draw a line. As we know the width from this point here to this point here is 268 and the part that we want to fit there is 268 by a 14 high. We first of all to get that is to draw a box. Draw a box. 268 by 14. Just click. And this time we're going to draw a line. Select, draw a line. And this with the snapping tool on again, click on the three, four corners, but do not go across for the top line. We don't want the top line. So now we can remove the color. I just select and on the color, drag the color away and delete. If we now move that up to the drawing and the snapping tool on, we'll take it into place. That is the base of the archway. These are the uprights for the window frames that will fit inside the end of the canopy. I've made eight of the three millimeter by 150 and one for the center, which is four millimeters by 150. Now the height of these, as long as it's over the 83 and about 100 to 150, it makes the job easier. I've now measured the distance that I want between each of these frames, and it should be 23 millimeters. So the easiest way to do that is to surround them, go to object, align and distribute, go to grid, and then change this to, there are nine columns. So change that to nine with one row. Change the set spacings to millimeters, put them at 23 millimeters and arrange. And you'll find that they're all in the correct spacing. 
I've now removed the fill from this square and we can now to make sure let's find the center of this arch if we then draw a line using the line draw and hover across this bottom line it will say handle to line midpoint when it finds the midpoint click and drag the line down and leave the line behind. We now know that's in the center. Next thing to do is to surround all of the frames. Go to object, group. We can now click on the group and drag them into place and putting the center frame over there, it will say line to midpoint and it will automatically align them. The next part is to draw around the edges of these shapes which will be the window panes the way to do this is to make sure the snapping tool is on but set it to alignment so make sure bounding boxes and nodes are turned off we now click on select and line draw and we start at the bottom left hand corner you will find that it aligns with the point on the corner Align it to the next point, to the next, and you can see it aligning perfectly where you want it to be. When we've done that, we move to the next one. It's sometimes easier to start at the furthest point away, like this. And then go around the actual opening. And you'll see that it will be aligning everything for you. If we go to the next one, do the same again. You can see the alignment tool coming in and telling us when it's correct. The further up you go, the more you will see the gaps appear that we're going to fill in. Now we repeat that with all of the openings which will be the window panes going left to right. For the next part, we're going to make these lines align with the curve of the arch. So make sure you go to your snapping tool and have nodes turned on and the others turned off. Now click on select, then on the icon below, which is edit parts by node, then go to the, this icon, which is make nodes smooth click on there click on one of your panes and it will come up as a box if you now hover over the line it will then find the midpoint handle to midpoint click on there and just move gently and it will snap to the curve as you can see there now if we repeat that doing the same on the next one There's the second one done and so on around all of the curves. But as you can see, the curve is now following the curve of the arch that we previously built. Now need to do that to all of them. The next job is to now remove all of these pink lines, which were used as the guides. So press on select, then select them. And as they were a group, they should come out in one go. We will now remove all the unwanted parts of the drawing. And if we carefully move to the bottom here in the center and click on there and drag, we should be able to drag away one of the lines and delete. The next is to remove the original archway again, exactly in the center, careful lift and delete. We are now left with the end part of the canopy all ready for to go to the printer or to be cut out. For the next part of the project, in the next video, I will show how to put the smaller parts of the frames in each of the main frames. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.